welcome back guys we've just woken up in a beautiful rest area we had this to ourselves all night um, so I'll show you behind me just a nice bush block nothing to it lots of birds a bit of wildlife but yeah peaceful night we're just south of Melrose so um, we didn't go up to the Flinders Ranges because we've missed the weather um, we're going to head down to the York Peninsula instead and explore some wicked beaches and stuff down there. That's more us. Um, Adam's just polishing the van before we go on some more dirt roads, so that makes sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're excited to explore the next bit. <laughs> next bit of South Australia and then we're going to head on through Clare Valley, Barossa, Adelaide. And we're going to try and hit Victoria by Christmas, so we're not yeah. stranded during school holidays somewhere that looks. Sh <laughs> yeah. See so how we go. Yeah. All right. We're going to go find a Loch Ness monster. Yeah. See you there. Yeah. Hands down, this has got to be my favourite silo art. Just looking at all the detail, it's insane what these guys can do. So we got what Kookaburra, Ru, and our old mate the Goanna. <laughs> I saw a real one last night. I love when the towns have these gyms. I don't know why, but it always reminds me of that old ad on the infomercials where it's like, you got a door, you got a gym. Oh, it's up my weight, that's why it's hard. <laughs> Come on, give me another 20. <laughs> He's like, oh no! <laughs> Reef will show you how to do it. I guess. Pump it up. Just pump, pump, pump it up. Nice little mural over here. All tiled. Joanna, Joanna. Nice. Show us, take us over where it is. Pretty lifelike. So that's how big they actually are in Australia. <laughs> cool playground. Nice clean public toilets. Reef likes to bark as much as he likes grass. Good boy. <laughs> and Adam's chilling. Living the dream. We pulled over into this rest area bay to avoid some roadworks and stretch the legs. We took advantage of the empty bins since we were free camping last night and got rid of all our rubbish. So if you haven't guessed by now, we sure do like our side a lot. So look what I found here. As soon as Adam and Reef were done playing around, it was time to hit the road. So we read in an ancient resource, aka wiki camps, that not too far from our location, there was an elusive Australian Loch Ness monster. Apparent 
Recently, the scholars have said that Lochiel, the Loch Ness monster, likes to frequent this pink salt lake. So we took a walk down to the viewing platform to see if we could spot him. So the hunt was on. We made it down to the lake to get a closer look. It was a long and hard journey, but with Kira's tracking skills, she pointed us in the right direction. Time to send in the drone. We needed to safely do a recon from above. After finding the beast to sleep, we thought it was time for a quick selfie. Fun fact, Lucky actually sleeps with his eyes open. Crikey, that flash from the camera must have woke the beast. As an avid fantasy novel reader, I came prepared with a sword and shield. After Kira tamed the creature, we took the damsel in distress, <coughs> Reef, back to the car. If you're planning your own adventure, bring along your safety pluggers, but be warned there might be a bit of overspray from the salt. We also had to hose off the puppy dog's paws. Depending on the time of the year, the water level and the shade of pink can vary. Overall, Lock Eel was a great stopover. This paddock was perfect for an overnighter to break up the trip. So we just got to the beach, we've parked up at the entry and we're going to walk up and see how soft it is to see if we can get the van in. Um, okay. <laughs> what? As you do down the beach. Oh, excuse you. So if you come down here, don't do what we did and stop right at the signs where there's these little campgrounds where you can pay a permit for. Keep going, it's a long walk to the beach and you can pull over up there and you can turn around a big rig up there, it's fine. You can further check out the beach, then you can jump in and turn around if you have to. This is a mission like that. That's cool. So you must get a lot of wombats around here. Fun fact, wombats do cube-shaped poos. Look it up. I feel like the truck might just sink. Okay. Oh, look at that. Bullseye. Yeah! First time on the beach. Success! How good is a free camp on the beach? 
We're ages from our neighbours. They're like, way down there. So plenty of room, which is good when you've got a dog. You don't have to worry about the other dog barking all the time at each other. Pretty, pretty good. He doesn't really make a sound, but he sets them off. What you got this? What's that? Oh! oh. It's a shell in Imagine oh. if there was a pearl in it. It's an like oyster. It's like a mermaidy thing. Oh! Should make a hair clip with some glitter. Yeah, not for my hair. <laughs> Very cool. It's all the it's like barnacle things. Yeah. It's, it's like pirates of the Caribbean, how they have it coming off their face. Yeah, oh, look. Yeah. Oh look, it's literally yeah. <laughs> hey Ray, check this out. Here he goes. <laughs> so she's about to get real. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Who's ready for zoomies? I think Adam does it more often than Reef. <laughs> Try and beat a Kelpie. Thank you, like. <laughs> Welcome back guys. We've just driven um, from where we're camped. I forget the name of it, it starts with a W. Um, and we've driven all the way down to Flatterty, Flatter, Flatterty Beach. <laughs> that one. Um, yeah, easy road. You're basically on the highway and then you've got one K of um, like this kind of sand stuff, but it's like compact. Four wheel drive only. So Adam's just gone up ahead just to check the conditions of the sand, whether we need to drop the tires or not. So I'm just here with little man. I'm gonna get ready to go down that spot. So it's not a specific dog beach, but they also don't say no dogs. So we'll obviously just keep them out of the dunes so we can't get any wildlife or anything. But yeah. It looks pretty. Can't wait to see the drone footage of this one. You can see like it's so shallow, like there's sandbanks all the way out. See how far we can walk. It's insane how you can like walk out onto these sandbanks, they're like little islands. You can just cross through ankle deep water. You can see like all the ripples from the water just on the dry sand here. Pretty cool. I hope this drone uh, picks up this blue. It's amazing, it's so clear. Yeah, it's insane. I feel like the camera never does it justice. No. It's one of those places you just remember has been awesome. It's definitely worth checking out. Mm -hmm. What are these things? They're like gel things. Are they, are they, is it a slug? Just, uh, don't eat it. Oh, don't eat it. Jelly beans. What? I was like, is it a, like a crystallized shell? But um, they look like slugs. So beautiful. Very surreal place. I've never seen a beach like this. All those weird jelly things. Yeah, fact, fact check that. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody tell us. Yeah. They look like little mini snakes. I've never seen this shit before. This stuff before. <laughs> See that bronzing going down? Oh. What 
is that? I reckon I'm gonna call out, I'm gonna say it's a beach worm. <laughs> Original. <laughs> is it a blowfish? What is it? Look at the colours on it. Yeah. How do we help it? I'm gonna dig a hole. Okay. But it's only gonna get drier. Do we put it in the deeper water? Has it got any spikes on it? You gotta be careful. Pick it up with seaweed or something. Oh, the poor thing. Don't tell us this is a really bad fish and we're saving it. <laughs> we just feel bad letting it suffer. And then you're gonna have to run. Huh? Then we're gonna have to run to the beach. Well, by we I mean you. Let's go, Rick. <laughs> Morning workout. Is he swimming in there? Is he still with us? He's still with us. He's with us. Okay. He was up. Before. Yeah, he was when he was trying to escape. Yeah, you those two Reef's uh, helping the wildlife effort yeah. <laughs> in the opposite way, but anyway. Look at that. You catch a fish without even. Or <laughs> well, just a woolies bag. <laughs> Cop that. And we got the lucky last sandbag. And back to nothing. Another little beach. Yeah. Yeah, some mates would love this in their fish tank. Good oh. luck. <laughs> Watch out, Reef. Come here. Come here, Reef. Oh, he's upright. That's positive. He's not like the goldfish in a tank. Come go. Go, little friend, go. Go the wrong way, mate. Maybe that's what happened. Or he's saying thanks. He's saying thanks, guys. Yeah. You ripper. Here I go. Come on, mate. Figuring out where he is. Yeah. Look at all this room for activity. Oh, his little tail's going. He's getting excited. What's happening? Look at the waves coming up. He's loving it. He's, He's got like, a couple of knots on him now. Thanks, guys. Now, don't go back to the beach, little guy. Wrong way. Must be a man. He needs directions. He needs a passenger princess to direct him. He's cautious, doesn't know what predators there are. He's being stalked by a puppy dog. Smart little fish. Go deeper, my friend. Nice work, Barnsey. Fish saved. Imagine if they were like some super cool fish that everyone tries to catch and that no one can have like some elusive VIP fish. Imagine they're like blue fish. Oh, yeah, well. What are you doing? Well, posit positive vibes, you know. I know, he's got a spike. <laughs> he nearly ended up on the bank. I can't even see him now. Be free, little fishy! Yeah, cool colours. Yeah. No. Oh. I'm gonna get my fishing rod, actually. <laughs> Very funny. Let's go. Let's go explore the next place. We've done a good deed. Thank you, Flaherty Beach. Yeah, let's see what else we can save today. <laughs> your toes. <laughs> Woo. So if you are coming down with your car they've got the timber on the hill down so that helps if you're bringing a tinny I guess. I'm just for getting out without getting bogged because it's pretty soft. It's so good because then you're not like dying going up a soft sand dune going back to the car, which is always me, the potato. Look 
cool little kitty towel from Kmart to help dry off the doggy. Yeah. Perfect just, little size. Soaks in the water for ages. Oh, they play golf. I didn't see this sign. They play a golf tournament here every year. That would be cool. Wait, yeah, it, it is a bumpy road, a but bit. easy for the like two-wheel drive, so it's very hard. You reckon this is easy for two-wheel drive? Yeah, it is. I don't need to put it in four-wheel drive to go. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. very corrugated. Yeah, but then you would remember we felt like better suspension and stuff. Right. So. I could easily do it. I'd um, bring my wagon and trick you up the side face. Uh, right, which way was it? Um, I forget where we're going. Where do you want to go to next? I think we better figure that out. So there is a place called Daily Head. So if we go left. So I just Googled the fish by image search and it's called a striped cowfish or a box fish. Southern cowfish, shores cowfish. Anyway, box fish, cowfish. So it's carnivorous. It exposes prey by blowing a jet of water into the sand and then the prey pops out and then it eats it. Um, so it's a made of fish to the Indian Ocean. Woo! <laughs> Success! Uh, thanks to Adam's Google search suggestion. Yep, which was? jelly bean ocean creature we found it so it's called a jelly sack <laughs> jelly sack um, it's not a jellyfish instead they are an egg laid by moon snails what? the eggs are encased in a clear moon shaped jelly like substance so when you're squishing them between your toes remember that you're actually squishing tiny moon snails so I told you you couldn't see a brain or anything, so it was like... So it's just eggs? It's an egg. So like, what, hundreds of eggs in that one? I don't know, I need to, I need to do a deeper dive into this research, so... Yeah, I'm sure it's for those moon... Jelly, sack, moon, snail... Hang on, I type with one finger. Um, Alright. Heading to the Dolphin Research Institute website. Well guys, we've travelled further down, we're past the ankle toward the toes of the foot, that is the York Peninsula. Um, so this spot is called Daily Head, it's a surfing reserve, pretty awesome, pretty blown out but I'll show you the views.
best bits of our traveling around Australia with your fur puppy. You get to play out in this big backyard. Sausage rolls are good. Best bakery I've been to. But the sausage rolls and bowling up are better. <laughs> Reef's hanging out for crumbs. Although Reef was pretty tuckered out after his time at the dog park, we did sneak down to watch a silo night art display. Unfortunately, it was mostly local advertisement, so it kind of put us to sleep too. Balance has been restored in the world. Oh yeah, Marcus. spoiled ourselves. <laughs> after a healthy breakfast <clears throat> and a wander around Kadena, that was a wrap on the York Peninsula. We'll see you next time when we're exploring around and about.